Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate taking time out of y'all's busy schedule. Stop in and see what it is I'm up to. I've just been, uh, I had to do a little shopping, pick up a few things for the Grand Brats. Um, nothing big. We don't do real big. But uh, anyway, I thought I'd show y'all what I got. First off, though, I'm going to show you what I got for me, or more or less for me. Because I went to Academy, I was looking for. I didn't know. I don't know what I was actually looking for. Um, a couple of the older boys. And then I talked to their mom. And by the way, if any of the grand brats are watching, and we haven't had Christmas 2017 yet, skedaddle, go, beat it. Um, for the one little uh, spider. Every time he sees me, he goes for my flashlight. You know, I carry this, carry this flashlight on my suspenders, and he is always after that. So I got him his own flashlight. <laughs> it was only like two bucks. Then I've been looking for a lightweight mug because the Ole Miss can't. Hold the. Um, let's get this down a little. The Ole Miss kit it has trouble holding the heavier uh, ceramic mugs, so I've been looking for something. I wanted something plastic, but then they had these, and I just think these are cool. And I don't know if she's going to actually be able to use them or not, but I got two. <laughs> um, Ten ounce. 295 ml stainless steel it's very very lightweight and it's got a it's a junk carbiner but it will it would work to attach to the pack to a pack or something like that clip it on your suspenders you know whatever so two of those and then you know me and clearance bins They had this on a clearance bin. Well, clearance buggy. <laughs> a bunch of stuff. Um, six bucks. So, I thought that was pretty cool. I don't, I don't really use multi-tools a lot. I've got them in a bunch of my bags because they do come in handy occasionally. Um, Stephen Smith sent me a small one. And I put it in my EDC bag, my everyday carry bag. And I found that I've used it, I've only had it like a week. And I've used it four or five times. So, maybe because I know where it's at, maybe because it's small. And that's kind of what I was thinking with this. This will be a nice little backup in one of my backup EDC bags. But I'll do an opening on that soon. That was at Academy Sports. Now, uh, five below. I actually went there two days in a row. Um, and different stores, too. Oh, come on, don't be falling down on me. I went to one at the town center. Oh, my God, that's nuts. The town center is a huge, 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 huge shopping complex. It's as large as some cities literally uh it's just just big huge expanse of shopping it's, it's shopping it's shopping stores and restaurants and jewelry stores and just anything you can imagine and it, it's like you're just literally rows you drive through and it's massive it's unbelievable and this season, <laughs> not the right time to be out there. Anyway, I went to the one out there, and then I went to the one down the beach, and I had to come home from, I had, I, I had to go pick up the Grand Brats from there. Uh, we had kind of a miscommunication. So, and then I went back down today to get a few things that I still needed because one thing that uh, my daughter had said was um, for the two older ones, because they have their cell phones things all the time. 
I got them. See, I can't. I have these. I love these these plant things for my phones. It just clips in there, and they're fantastic. They really are. This one I have taped down to a heavy piece of heavy piece of steel, and then there's a couple of magnets on it, and it rides right now on that. But it also works to attach to the roof of the bug, of the bug, the brat buggy, etc. So, uh, anyway, I got them each one of these. So, those the two older boys were covered. The two littles, uh, one one is a year old, one is two years old. Um, I had no idea what to get them, but then I saw these because mom had said you know maybe a stuffed animal or something but uh -huh, they watch Paw Patrol yeah I think I think I think Pop made a score but we shall see uh, let's see I also got these for me because purple <laughs> Put that back in there so it doesn't get dirty. Put that back in there so it doesn't get dirty. Alright. I picked this up for me. It's supposed to be a desk lamp. But it might work in it might work in the brat buggy for like when I'm doing videos at night. Um and it's blue. So it matches the brat buggy. Uh, again, the clearance type thing. They had a wheelbarrow sitting out front. Um, I forget these were two dollars or a dollar. I got uh, Iron Man. These are supposed to go for a, some sort of a game. The kids probably don't have the game. But that's okay. They have a figure right now. Um, Vision. Ugh. Black Widow. And then this one, I'm not sure I want to give this one up because he's just freaking cool. I don't know who he is. Ultron. I don't know. I think he's bad to the bone. Uh, let's see what else I got over here. For one of the Grand Orders. Hopefully, that'll work. Uh, that one goes here. We'll be seeing that. The one seven-year-old is heavy into uh, Skylanders and other type games, so um, his mom said this will work. The other, I'm not sure if he's seven yet. I think he'll be seven in March. But oh, that's not this. That's different. Boom, 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 boom. Anyway, he's the type that he does, um, he, he builds robots and uh, draws schematics to make radio control boats and, yeah, uh, reads auto repair manuals. <laughs> and he's not even seven. He's unbelievable. So, I bought him this. Um, and he will probably assemble it by himself. It says ages eight and up. So I'm pretty sure he's going to kick butt on that. The only thing he may need help with is he's got a little, um, he's only seven, you know. Uh, fine motor controls. He may need a little help with that. Uh, I, I don't think, I don't think so. So, uh, let's see what else I got. Uh, two of the older granddaughters are into Monster High. 
So I got the one this. And the other this. So that's it. Now I need to figure out how to wrap all this stuff. Um, I'm not sure if I'm giving these out to anybody for now or not. Um, wrapping may just end up being tinfoil. Or a bag. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I haven't figured it out yet. Uh, I may just go out and buy a couple of bags, party bags. What you think give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up leave me a comment wherever it is y'all happen to leave comments on uh, your internet access device of choice if you'd like to share me around on your social media that would be fandoculous um, if you want to check out my Facebook I'll have the link in the description wherever that is on your device you'll also find my snail mail uh, links to similar videos that I've done um, Yeah. Keep those in mind that have suffered such devastating loss over the past year. Hurricanes, fires, floods. Hurricane Irma. Um, people are still reeling throughout Florida and, and, and down, in, down in Puerto Rico. People through Texas, Louisiana. I mean, there's people that are still suffering from, you know, last year. We still have damage here in Jacksonville from Hurricane Matthew in uh 2015 so you know uh it takes a while to to come back on some of these things so just keep them in your mind keep them in mind um don't let that fall to the wayside give if you can pray if you if that's what you do um and just remember we're not promised tomorrow we don't we don't know what's going to happen in the next 10 seconds so if your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you're thinking about them. Let them know you love them. Seriously, you may not get another chance. But I hope I get another chance to see y'all. And until I do, I hope you have a fandoculous day. Slunchy, y'all. Bye-bye.